Okay, it's time to take a look at Barbie the Redback Spider. And it has been a tumultuous couple of days in here. Lots of things have gone on. But before we take a look in here, let's take a look at the Redback Spider control chart. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. I've got to add this in here as well. I made a mistake. I've actually uploaded the wrong video the other day. I put up the Redback Spider Spider Bite Study on the Black Beetle, and it should have come after this video. So I think there was two or three days between the two of them. Maybe some viewers would have noticed there was something wrong or a missing spider or missing information. But I think most viewers wouldn't even notice because I see a percentage of what they call the notification pickup of a video and it's tiny. It's a tiny percent of people seem to pick up on a notification. So is that saying to me that the notifications that are sent out completely fail or is it that people get the notification and just completely ignore the video? Whatever is happening, I know one thing, it's completely killing me. Okay, well, on with the video. This keeps us nice and educational and where we're at in the year being 2020 and the month, we're actually up this way, we're past the equinox now and we're right into the beginning of October and today's the day when President Trump got the virus. It's normally the time when I do a berm but I haven't done one yet and it's also very important to take a look at this document right here. You've seen this document many times, I have rewritten it, it's starting to fold down on me as well but it's just recently when all the big action was happening. From exact 9 from the 26th of September, things happened. Little sister has gone missing. That was on the 28th of September. And in quite an epic video, done with a new device, exact number 9 was destroyed by a beetle. That was the educational part of this video. I can gently just put this over there somewhere. And we'll just have a few moments of silence for little sister. She may have been eaten by Barbie. She may have gone to some other place to live. Let's just give her a few seconds. Okay, the sun is setting on me and Barbie is around that side there. No eggs sack there. That's what the beetle took out and then Barbie ate the eggs. It has been quite an incredible few days in Barbie the Redback Spider's home. I've got a new tool that I've been given to play with. It's not mine yet. It's still got its protective screen on. It's a fantastic way of seeing Barbie in her home. It's a boroscope. It's got a fantastic screen on it. And with me holding it in my hand, you can see the scale of this device. It's actually designed for things that have got triggers without saying any trigger words. Okay, I hope you can work that one out for me. Uh, very easy to use. You can take pictures, videos. You can easily manipulate the operations here. And it's a great device. It really has expanded the way I see Barbie's world. And to show you how I set this up to use the boroscope when I'm shooting Barbie, I sit it in the garden bed there, it does record audio. I put the boroscope camera on a piece of dowel, it's a very important bit of technology that. Okay, just tape there, I need to know the orientation of the camera. So if I do that, that's an upright frame. And then it's a matter of me holding this piece of dowel in the right position against Barbie and then coming in here very one-handedly, you can sort of see the pictures that I can get if I'm nice and steady. Because Barbie's had a couple of very rough days, I've actually got a treat for it. It's a giant cockle roach. It is still alive. I think it's just a little bit sick, but I'm sure Barbie's gonna love to eat this. Maybe if I get the cockle roach into the web area there-ish. I don't know where it's gonna go, but I know that little boroscope will be able to get right down wherever it ends up. I'm sure Barbie's gonna get excited by that in the web there. Now what I want the cockroach to do is to start moving. That's going to send the trigger signals to Barbie, but sometimes you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, can you? A little bit sad about little sister, but I'm not surprised. I didn't think she would last long in this environment here. Mind you, she may have wandered off and found a spider home all for herself. Okay, it looks like it's starting. The cockroach started to move a bit which is a very dangerous thing when you're up against a redback spider home and Barbie's just assessing what exactly is going on here. There she's doing some back leg action that we love to see. I'll just get it settled onto this and I'll jump over to the boroscope for some nice close and intimate views of Barbie the redback spider. 
Okay, I'm using the boroscope now and I'm coming close. I'm looking at the screen up in the garden bed and I'm looking at the head of that giant cockle roach. I've got a, a little way of trying to keep everything nice and stable. What moves is Barbie's webs and a home. So every time things in the web move, it shakes it around a fair bit. I found this giant cockroach uh, near our front door, so I'm not exactly sure what had gone wrong with it, but man, look at those legs and those sort of hairy, spiky things. Oh, ugly sort of critters, uh, not nice at all. Maybe the trickiest shot of this video is one of this, okay? There's the boroscope down looking at the cockroach's head, and if I pull this camera back here like this, and get that beautiful screen, that's what I'm seeing. That's the most important aspect to this boroscope is that screen. I think that's where the magic is. Let's uh, get another shot here and I'm just going to try and go over the back here and find out what Barbie is up to. Although I'm getting caught up in legs and things. Oh, Barbie is actually playing a shepherd game here. She's shepherding behind. She's doing some web maintenance. There she is there. I've got to get in nice and close to her. I'm actually there that's it okay and she's actually getting used to this boroscope so initially when she first saw this she thought it was something to eat but uh crikey's look at barbie's chompers there that is amazing isn't it we're seeing barbie in a totally different way and she's actually still underneath behind the cockle roach Amazing seeing the, that mouth moving on Barbie. I'm just back on the cockroach here. Every now and then it makes these strange movements. Now I'm pretty sure Barbie has already come in and given this giant cockroach a bite. Sometimes there's a waiting game that goes on. I'm just traversing along the cockroach's body there. Yeah, maybe some people like cockroaches. I'm not really a fan of them. I'll tell you that right now, but uh so different to see them up this close they're quite a formidable looking beast aren't they yeah that's the head of the cockroach right there okay I'm gonna come in on Barbie again and the boroscope has to get up quite close to her now she's I'd like to see her throw some web at this thing uh, I've been trying to get her to do this again but there's that idea do these spiders have a memory do they remember what's going on does she remember the tweezers takes away her egg sacs? It's a, it's a pretty big question and she's just doing the, the standoff time. After, she, after these spiders bite they tend to, to do a standoff time and let the venom take effect in the critter and that's what she's up to at the moment. I've just turned the piece of dowel around because the way I get orientation here is by twisting the dowel like this and it's a tiny twist gives that type of camera movement. I'm just going to get up to that chompy area of Barbie again. I'm also noticing that the rear end of her is quite large so that means there's definitely another egg sac due. Mind you last night she had eaten the egg sac that was uh, annihilated by that beetle with the giant chompers. I'm not going to put any of that video into this video you can go back and look at it it's quite a special and very different redback spider video that one. I'm just coming in nice and slowly on that there. Do you remember what that is? That's actually Little Sister's spider skin that she shed in Barbie's home. That's the remnants of Little Sister's spider skin. It's actually very small. The boroscope is making it look very large. And that's the last remaining item here of Little Sister. Okay, Barbie has changed position again. And I keep saying this, I'm still learning the boroscope and learning camera control the screen is the magic in this because if you haven't got a nice big screen that's clear you can't get pictures like that that is the magic of this device I just love looking at the screen and it's great in complete daylight as well that surprised me and it's one of these things I think every time I make a spider video wow how can I do it without a tool like this mind you I don't want to overuse it I just keep it for special shots and you can see special stuff with it Okay, so yeah, Barbie's actually getting quite used to this looking at her. It's, uh, I've actually got the light sitting on the, well, I call it the middle setting. It's not the lowest, it's not the brightest. But, uh, wow. 
it's just such a different view of her. Completely beautiful seeing Barbie up this close and intimate. I'll do one final shot here coming in on Mr. or Mrs. Cockroach. We haven't worked out if it's a boy or a girl. I'm sure someone out there is going to work that out for me. The audience seems to know everything about that, not me. And we'll have one more look at Barbie who's just having that respite after bite a rooney time. There she's there licking her chompers. Completely stunning and it's, it's an addictive view seeing the spiders like this. Totally addictive. It's like being with them. It's like being a redback spider. Seeing all the stuff they do. Like we've never seen before. I don't know what she's doing at the moment, spotting some web. There's a red back. Man, it's stunning, isn't it? I've got a really small um, area of focus, in a sense, depth of focus with this, so the concentration level uh, to use this, for me, it's pretty high, but I've learned how to use this very fast. Okay, we're looking at the front of Bobby now. I'm just retracting a little bit with the boroscope. It's just amazing. Completely amazing. Addictive viewing. Seeing spiders like this. And Barbie's going to be one of the, the most famous redback spiders that I've, that I've featured, I think. Long live Barbie, and she's basically 10 months old. I hope I can get that said in this video as educational content. And we'll leave the 10 month old Barbie uh, right now. Although we want to keep looking at her, don't we? I'll see if she'll spray some web at me. I'm not sure whether she'll do that or not. No, she's going to run. No. She's... Yeah, she doesn't see this as something to eat anymore. Okay, we'll let it go. And that'll be the end of the video with some black bit up the end that people say, Oh, why do you put black at the end of the video? And why do you put black at the start of the video? Well, that's the way I do it, you see. I better put this shot in, or you'll say, ah, but we never saw Barbie's lid go back onto her home. I'd never leave her uncovered, put it that way. Okay, you happy now?